Hello everybody, this is Stringham back for another episode of Primal Carnage Extinction. And yeah, it's only be a quick, well, I say it's a quick video, it'll probably be like 20 minutes long. <laughs> but yeah, I'm churning, I'm trying to churn, grind, marathon record videos for my holiday. So you guys have some content to watch while I'm away. And I consider a fella. Uh, what we're doing in this episode, um, not really short to be honest. <laughs> I just thought... Saw players on Absentia and thought, sod it, we're recording Primal Carnage. Come on then. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Um, yes, Meltdown update is imminent. I believe that Dinosauria will probably put the update out while I'm on holiday. So I don't get to cover it. Well, hey! <laughs> no, the, I think they've said the, there is going to be the first Meltdown update coming out. Yeah, the state of the game, for me, is not very good, in the sense that I'm at a point, and this is probably down to them not posting much content in terms of updates and that. They've, like, left the game as it is, but I don't I just feel at a point where I'm just... The game either feels too easy to play... Or it, or is too oppressive to play, and when I say that, I refer, I'm referring to the uh, team balancing system in this game because it's, it is horrific. Uh, I think yesterday was it yesterday? I don't know. A few days ago, I played on here and I played on a freaking dominant side, and it was too easy. Like you could. Oh yeah, yeah! I finally got a kill, kill the T-Rex. It just felt so easy, like. I was playing Scientist. It was on this map. I was literally stood here going like just sniping things like this. Because I could. Because I could. Because I had good teammates around me protecting me. So the dinos were unable to get to me. Come on now, Mr. High Ground Exploit. They get your butt all down here. Yes, this is this could be a reason why Absentia sees a renaissance. is because a lot of people on Deepera are doing this. And there's no rule on Deepera that, you know, that stops people doing this. Hell, even the moderators on Deepera does it, do it. It's like, come on, it's it's a high ground exploit. You're not supposed to do it, so don't do it. It's, it's just very unsporting. Like, you can tolerate one person doing it, because you can just be a tooper and knock them off or get an easy kill. But when half the human team does it, it just becomes oppressive. Because if, even if you play as a tooper or something and go over there, the odds are one of them is going to see you. So yeah, I am glad... Well, I'm hoping Absentia clamps down on it. But yeah, Absentia's always been strict on that. Which is really good to see. And that could be a reason why Absentia just sees a bit of a renaissance. Yeah, hey, take that sunshine. Um, what, what else will it? Yeah, while, I, while, while I'm playing it, I might as well address it. This might just be an unpopular opinion. Most of my opinions are. But I just feel like Pathfinder needs a buff. Not the double barrel, though. I think that's fine. I just feel like the Spaz, and this gun in particular, just need a buff. They just... I don't know if it's just... Ah! Ah! It just feels so underwhelming. Like, you know, I could shoot a T-Rex in the head with this thing and do, like, 100 damage. That's just so underwhelming. I'm sorry, it is. And, like, you can't tell me... You can't tell me I'm not hitting them when I'm doing a full body shot and it only does 100 damage. Okay, there you go. That's different. Oh, it's like a headshot. Yeah, the sp it just feels very underpowered at the minute. Except for when that guy, fl except for when guys fly in your face and you hit them directly. <laughs> yeah, take that. Look at look at this, look at this. I'm doing well with it now. It's like the game the game is like trying to contradict what I'm saying. But yeah, it just feels like. The shotguns need a little bit more love. I mean, it's a freaking shotgun at the end of the day. Like, if you get shot by one of these, you pro the odds are you're probably not going to survive. Oh, hang on. You go around here. 
Yes! Take that! Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna go all camping outside. I mean, I'll always go on about the AR and stuff like that, but they're never gonna nerf it. They'll it'll probably get another buff, let's be honest. Every time I ask for the AR to get nerfed, the devs buff it. So I'll do I'll play the reverse psychology card and say, hmm, the AR needs a buff. It genuinely needs a buff. It is really underpowered. The rocket doesn't do enough damage. Like 500 damage. Bruisers can tank that. Hell, they could fire it in a raptor's face and you won't kill it. And a tyrant, well, tyrant just, tyrants just eat those things for breakfast. The gun is so inaccurate. It's so bad. The range is absolutely terrible. It's just, it's just such a really bad weapon. Like, the carbine is better than the AI in every single way. It's terrible. It's honestly, the, the, the AR just... Honestly, this Duke, this gun needs some love. It needs some TLC. It deserves it. But yeah, other than that, humans... I think humans are actually in a really good position. I will also address the new changes to the Tyrant as well. And well, I ain't doing any Tyrant gameplay on this bloody server. Because I never get it. But yeah, now you can't sprint and brace anymore, which is a very... Well, that was rude. Which is a very big nerf, in my opinion, because that was the core of my strategy as Tyrant. Was to brace and run. You can't even do that anymore. So yeah, I'm hoping that they'll revert the brace back to the way it was, because I don't like the changes to it. Although, you can brace a lot longer. Actually, you know what I'd like? A suggestion. Stranger suggestion, which means it probably won't happen. What? I freaking hit him in the body! Oh well. I didn't do too bad, actually. Another suggestion. When the tyrants do the brace, have, the, have them increase their walking speed. Or have, like, an ambush brace ability, so that when a tyrant braces and it starts to sprint, it sprints faster. So it gets to the human team quicker and therefore takes less damage. Because it, you, you can't just tr slowly tip. You can't like, crawl to a human team and be like, yeah, okay. here I am, lads. You just can't do it. You get peppered and you'll die before you even get to take a bite out of someone. I will I will quickly show the animations of the brace as well because that's new. I'll probably have to do it on a free roam server, which means I have to enter the Forbidden Realm! The Forsaken, the Pits of Hell. The, the, ro the, pl the servers that har harvest the worst of the worst in Primal Carnage. The Free Roam Server. Oh wow, humans are actually, we're actually winning. Like, humans never do well on this map. What, what's the Oh, yeah, that's why. They have tried to address team balancing, but let's be honest, let's be honest it's not going to work. <laughs> My solution, which is brilliant, would be to have to have certain periods within the rounds where like the losing team gets a damage buff or the winning team gets a damage nerf or a health buff. You know, give the losing team a chance to, to you know, just to play. Allow, the, allow people to play, because when humans are dominating, it becomes very oppressive. And honestly, dinos are the lesser of two evils. In my opinion, I feel like dinosaur oppressive rounds are the worst, are the lesser of two evils. So I think, yeah. It would be good to have like little events like that to give the losing team a, ch a fighting chance. Oh, look at that for a shot. That wasn't even a headshot and it killed him instantly. Headshot. Aimbot stranger does it again. How are we doing? Wow, oh my god. I haven't died yet. What's happening? I'm the only person that hasn't died. Oh, except for that dude at the bottom. He's like rank zero. He's like a newbie. No one's killed him yet. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he got a headshot. <laughs> You ain't kill you ain't messing my kill streak up, pal. <laughs> How dare you attack me while I'm on my own, you little animal! Wow, <laughs> flukiest headshot ever! I just turned around and blasted him.
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, he can come round you! I'm so dead. I'm gonna die. <laughs> there goes my kill streak. Oh, oh, we did it. Oh, oh, yes, we reached the kill limit. Yeah, Absentia has a kill limit of 150. Kind of cool. Wow, we, we did really good. The humans actually did really well. And all the Evo players that joined in the, in the round joined our team. Well, hey! Right, I gotta be quick now and get Tyrant. No! Oh, damn it. You know what? Let's be our Melon Tooper. Let's be Melon Tooper. I am Melon Bird. <laughs> Come on, guys. Save some for me. Please. Ow. Yeah, I got a kill. Take that, Kavana 1010. You, my, you, my sorry friend, just got tooped. Boosh. And double attack. <laughs> I think he just spawned in. Oh, damn it, the freaking yeeted him into the raptor and he got the kill. There, get him, Cosini. And yet, no surprise, we're winning because we're the dominant team. And this is what team balancing is all about. If you're on the good team, you do good. If you're on the bad team, you do bad. If you're on a medium team, then lucky you. Go to the lottery because you deserve it. Ah, melon topples! Damn it, I'm gonna die. Freaking sweaty humans, what are you targeting the tooper for? Yes, take that pyro. Oof, needed that chunk of health. Uh oh, retreat! Oh, uh, no, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> Is he frantic? Ow! That was my face! Oh, oh yes, I got a kill, I got a yeet kill, nice. <laughs> Oh, oh, I killed that dude. Oh, damn it, he was a pyro. I was hoping he'd land on that for people. But no matter. Uh, I gotta go heal. No! Healing's for amateurs! Get in there! There, yeah, see, look at that! Biscuit risked you gotta get the kills. Only I would do such a reckless thing. Oh, I got a both! <laughs> Tooper power! Yay! You got toop the toop by the toop toop toopa. Toop her dance. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing pretty good actually. No, don't play toopa. I'm playing toopa. I'm a toopa. You know, it's still it's still an annoying little shit as ever because it is. Even though I got nerfed and it got a deserved nerf because it deserved it. Yeah, take that. Now it's just a kill Steven scumbag. Yoinking other people's kills is what I do best. Come at me, Trapper. Come on in, come at me. Come at me. Hey, you got a dilemma to make. Does he net me or does he net him? He nets neither, because he dies. <laughs> right, now to deal with you. Stop. <laughs> Stupid tree. Oh, hang on, they're all in there. Ready. Oh, damn it. I want a pirate to go into the front so I can push him into all of them and kill them all. Is that so much to ask? Apparently it is. Oh, I hit someone, but I didn't get a kill. Never mind, say. Ooh, oh, damn it. He'd be perfect if I was Tyranodon. I drop him on all them peons and watch him explode all his friends into bits. Ow. Oh, come on, game. That was a hit. You even gave me the hit marker. Ooh, that was a good yeet. Hmm. Interesting. So, I, like, tapped him and I hit it. Well, her, I should say, because it was a scientist. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to try that out. It could just be because I'm on absentia and I have higher ping, so... Hmm. I'll try that out. Because you usually, how you... When I hit play Tuka before, before the nerf, I used to just hit them like this, and then they go up. But now that doesn't work as well anymore, so I have to find a different way to hit them. And I found a really cool exploit the other day on the um, Borealis map. So, you recall the platform, right? It's like a, the little platform that the humans can stand on. Apparently, you can fly under that platform as a Tupa and hit them through the floor, and it's awesome. you like a Tupa shark. You attack from below. I mean, don't do it because it is cheating because they can't hit you. It's still a quiz. Just 
a really cheesy exploit to do. Nope, nope, nope. He's going to net me. Oh, yeah. Take that, Cabana. And have some of that. <laughs> yes. Tupa means Tupanodactylus. Ah, interesting. Oh, I got it before he netted me. <laughs> Aren't you going to kill me? <laughs> the Pathfinder just lets me live. Ready. Hello. <laughs> and goodbye. Hang on, why am I doing this good with Tupa? I never do this good. Even when it was OP, I wasn't doing this good. Okay, oh, nope, 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 nope. Here, miss me, sunshine. Oh, the T-Rex got him. The T-Rex that I want to die. Die! He's my human to kill. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, no. I'm gonna... Hang on. Now. Oh, that was close. They're bear traps. But I dodged them. Oh, am I bleeding? I was bleeding. <laughs> and the pyro killed me. So, what, what are you looking forward to for, now, for the meltdown update? What are you hoping to see? Pop a comment down below. Oh, wait, what? They freaking killed me instantly, damn it. The bomb, they like dive bombed into a bomb. It's bombception. Uh, we're on 15, I doubt we'll get to 20 in like one minute 50. Oh, oh, the round's over. Oh, I'm gonna take that, actually, I'll take that. I did really good. Take that. Yeah. Right, that's gonna end the session, yeah. It's only a quick one today, so hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for next time. So you don't miss out on my coverage of the Meltdown update, where I'll probably open gifts. <laughs> almost forgot, almost forgot. I always bloody forget. I will do T-Rex first, because I don't, don't think it's that much different. Okay, so ready for the brace? Hey, look at him, he's like skimming the water. And his head is like phasing through the floor. Pretty cool, isn't it? I like that one. Okay, we'll save Spinal for last because it has the best one. Okay, now for Acro. Ready, set, brace. I like Acros, actually. It looks pretty cool if I can get a good shot of it. There. Um. Boom, boom, boom. Right, and now for the best one. The Spinosaurus. Like, look at, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. I mean, they could do, they could, they could do worse, but they could do better. <laughs> but look at that! He's walking on his knuckles, and how can you not love that? That is so epic. It's just too bad that they broke the bracing with the whole, with the changes. The animations, consolation prize, they're pretty cool. Right, and now I will end the session here. So until next time, ta-ta.